Welcome to the Hortonworks Sandbox. This short video will provide you a tour of the features of the Sandbox 2.0. Once you've booted up the virtual machine, you'll be given an IP address that you'll put into your browser window. Simply type in the IP address and you'll be presented with this start screen. From this start screen, you'll have a number of options. The first is to go through and learn more about Hadoop and about Hortonworks through these videos. These videos will pop out into a small screen that will allow you to stay within the environment of the Sandbox. Ready to just jump in and use Hadoop? The Sandbox is a single node Hadoop cluster. The Sandbox allows you to add your own data sets and allows you to build your own proofs of concepts and learn Hadoop on your own. If you'd like to go through our step-by-step -step tutorials, simply press the Start Tutorials button. Once you do that, you'll see that we made some changes in the navigation within the tutorial screen. What you'll see here is the opportunity to open the sandbox in a new window. By doing that, if you have multiple monitors or a big screen, you can run the sandbox and the tutorials side by side. Within the context of the tutorial pane, you'll see that we've provided a number of resources for you, whether it's links to our Hortonworks University classes, links to the Hortonworks data platform where you can download the HDP platform, links to our blogs and to our community. If you need assistance at any point in your tutorial, you can click on the help, either the help button at the top of the screen or you can visit our sandbox forums. Sandbox forums are where we provide assistance. Are you looking for a tutorial that's a bit more advanced? Click on the dive in button and you'll be presented with the tutorials that are more complex and show an end-to-end -end use case. In this case, we've shown you how to either visualize sentiment data, server log data, sensor data, or clickstream data. Looking for a tutorial that's a bit more basic? Click on the Get Started, and you'll be presented with some of the easier tutorials. Once you've decided which tutorial you want to run, simply click the Open button. What you'll see at the top is we've provided some new navigation. You can click back and forth, between the next tutorial or you can go back to the previous tutorial. Within the tutorial you'll see the step-by-step hands-on instructions. Within each tutorial we've provided access to a data set that once you click on the link it will start and automatically download the data set for you. Each of the screenshots have been taken to show you exactly which each step requires you to do. And if you click on the screenshot, it will pop them out into a bigger window so that you can follow along. As well, once you are going through the tutorials, you'll see that we've provided code snippets that allow you to just simply copy and paste that code snippet into the relevant query engine. And in this case, it's a pig query engine that allows you to go ahead and paste in that query and then simply execute the query. You'll also find at the end of every tutorial, there's a number of options for you. At the end, you'll find a link to a survey. We do take these surveys seriously, we do read them, and we appreciate any feedback that you have on the tutorial, whether you find an error or you have feedback on new tutorials that you'd like to see. At the end of every tutorial, you'll find social sharing buttons. Share with the world the progress that you've made in learning Hadoop. One of the other features that you'll see on the new Hortonworks Sandbox is that we've made it very easy to enable and disable Ambari and HBase. If you wish to enable HBase or you wish to enable Ambari, simply click the Enable button. We do ask that you increase the allocation of memory in your virtual machine for the Sandbox to at least 4 megabytes to accommodate the uh, extra memory requirements of these projects. In order to increase the memory allocation, you will also need to have more physical RAM on your system, and so we ask that you have at least 8 gigs of physical RAM on your system. We'll be updating the tutorials on a regular basis. As you boot up the Sandbox every time, you will find that the Sandbox ha will have new tutorials in it. In addition to the tutorials that we put into the Sandbox, we've also provided a partner gallery on our website for tutorials that have been created by our partners. Look for tutorials that will teach you everything from how to connect up the sandbox to Tableau to how to use advanced tools like Cascading Pattern. 
Are you already a Hadoop expert? Then we encourage you to contribute your own tutorials to our community GitHub repository. Look for this repository at github.com slash hortonworks slash Hadoop tutorials. Thank you for your interest in the sandbox. 